for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Well, welcome back to our video series on Dreamweaver CS5 and CSS layouts. In this series of videos, we've been building a three column fixed width CSS layout. And we can go ahead and go into our browser and we can see this is where we're going. We've got a header, a top navigation, a main content area that has three different divs in it, a left hand sidebar, a content area, and a right hand sidebar. These are named left nav, content, and right. And then finally we have a footer at the bottom. Let's go ahead and format the center area now. Now all three of those divs I want to be contained in a div called content wrapper. Called content wrapper here. And I'm going to do several things. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is since I floated my um, top navigation here, I need to make sure that all of my content also flows and stacks very nicely to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and do the float statement here and I'm going to say float left. And that just basically means the three sections within this wrapper are all going to float as far to the left as they can. First the left nav because that's first in the code, then the content section, and then finally the right hand sidebar will move over. I also want to go ahead and set the width of this. And again, I'm going to go ahead and specify the width as 800 pixels, what I did before. And later, I'm going to set the background color. And you're going to see how that becomes very useful in your content wrapper. So now I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And when we click over here, we won't see anything different except this move down just a little bit. And again, that's just because we just did a little bit with the wrapper that's containing these um, that's containing these items in it. Now let's go ahead and format the three divs that are going to be inside. The first of which is the left navigation div, this div right here. And again, I'm going to say float this over to the left and I want to give it a width. I'm going to say the width of this should be 120 pixels, not very wide at all. I save it and click over here and you're going to see what happened there. I said float this to the left, which means it should move as far over to the left as possible. And everything following it should also float over to the left until I stop it. So you can see it floated that navigation links over to the left, and then it tried to float the content div over as uh, well. So now let's go ahead and, and again, you can go ahead and go into Google, something like Google Chrome, and you can see the way that looks right there. So the next thing we need to do is we need to format the content section. So I'm going to go ahead and again say this should float. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a width of, let's say, um, 530 pixels. You know, something reasonable. You can make your div wider, but if you make it too wide, make sure you set the max line length on your um, text so that the text doesn't go too far over um, to the bottom. And let's go ahead and see the way this is going to look now. There we go. It floated that div to the left, and you're going to see the difference there. So let's go ahead and continue. Now I want to go ahead and put some margin and padding on this. And the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and say margin left, and I'm going to go ahead and put a value of 30 pixels in. Save it. When I click over here, you'll see that moved it away from my left-hand sidebar. So now I've got room to, uh, to work. But I also want to go ahead and put some padding. If I put a background color on this div, see, I just make it a light gray here, you're going to see that the div is actually the same width as the content. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and say padding should be 20 pixels left and right and 10 pixels top and bottom. I'm sorry, 20 pixels top and bottom and 10 pixels left and right. Now when I click over here, you'll see the difference. They're now pushed away. And I'm actually going to remove this background color. Actually, I'm going to leave it there. But I'm going to go ahead and change the background color back to white. So there I have that there. 
Now also in my example, I'll bring Chrome up here again, there were dotted lines that were separating the left nav from the content and the right, nav, right sidebar from the content. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is apply those to the content area. You should always apply borders to whichever div is deeper if you want them to go all the way down. So I'm going to go ahead and say border left and this is going to be a one pixel black dotted border. And a shortcut here is I can just simply copy that. Oops. Because I want it the same left and right and then just change the word left to right. And I'll save it and click and since I don't have any background colors it's a little bit easier to see. You can also see your right heading is smushed way up against the edge of its div. So we're going to have to work with that as well. So now let's go ahead and let's format that right hand div. And again, actually before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and go back into Google Chrome and you can see where we're at in our layout. So now I'm going to go in here to the right hand sidebar. I don't want this to float over to the left. I want it to be pushed as far over to the right as possible, no matter what happens with anything else. So instead of float left, I'm going to go ahead and do float right. So that means push that all the way over to the right, doesn't matter what happens to everything else. I'm also going to set the width. Now since this is going to contain content and not navigation, I'm going to go ahead and make the width 230 pixels, a little bit wider than the left hand bar. And I'm also going to apply some padding and margin on here. I'm going to go ahead and do padding. And I want 20 pixels top and bottom and 0 pixels left and right. I actually want to apply some margin also and that's where I'm going to get some right hand um, assistance. Again, I want 0 pixels top and bottom. I want um, 10 pixels on the right. 0 pixels on the bottom and 0 pixels on the left. So I'll go ahead and save that. And Now the last div that we want to format is actually going to be our footer div. So I'm going to go ahead and come down here and I'm going to go ahead and define the footer div. And I don't want to do much here. I want to set the background color. And I want to make it the same color as my header. So I'm going to go ahead and do C1, D1, F1. So that'll be the background color for our footer. And let's go ahead and close that. I actually want to put some padding on here too. I'm going to go ahead and say padding is going to be 10 pixels. And I also want to center that text. So I'm going to do text align center. And when I click over here, you're going to see, whoop, why did it appear over there? And if I scroll over here, it's showing up over there too. You remember I did these floats in here. If I want items to stop floating, I actually need to put in a clear statement. So I'm going to go ahead and say clear both here. I want to clear both the left and the right um, floats out. Once I put that in and click over here, you're going to see the blue disappears. And when I scroll down to the bottom, there's my footer. So if all of a sudden things are jumping up out of position and you've been floating, either left or right, remember to put this statement on the div that you want to um, regain its natural flow order on. The last thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and color in my columns. And you remember from the example I had green columns left and right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the green color to this background content wrapper div. So I'm going to go ahead and come up here and find content wrapper and I'm going to go ahead and say background color and this is already white so I don't have to worry about that um, coming into play. But I'm going to go ahead and select a dark green for my um, or a light green for my sidebars. So there's the green that I've chosen. I'll click OK there. It sticks the color code in. I'll go ahead and save that. And there I have my green sidebars. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. 
when we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.